when we are sitting together, even if you are talking about business, let one statement in that meeting be something religious. It's not difficult. When you are sitting in your own meetings, you have met your brothers or whoever it is, sisters meeting each other, or even a family gathering. Before you get up from that meeting, from that gathering, let one statement at least be a direct encouragement of something spiritual, something religious. Wallahi, you will add a new flavor to that whole meeting. And we don't want to, we don't want to convey a message in a manner that you try to make them feel, you know what, you people are not even proper Muslims, man. It happens sometimes where people look at us and the way they look at us, like, you know what, I'm not even fit to be a Muslim. The way the brother is carrying on, you know, no chance for you. You're, you can't you feel the heat of Jahannam already? Allah safeguard us. Allah protect us. If that is the type of behavior we have, we are not going to call people towards Islam. Brother, let me tell you what I have found very effective. When you make a sinful Muslim feel like a Muslim at least, he will inshallah eradicate that sin because he begins to feel the identity. So when someone is sinful and I come from a country where we are in a minority, the freedom is such that nobody is going to ask you a question if you did not come to the masjid, besides those who care for you. So if we were to make people feel like they are non-Muslim just because they are sinful Muslims, they might go further into the sin because of the freedom around them. But if we are to make them feel, brother, you know what, my sister, mashallah, you are doing so well, you might even be a better person than me. Let me remind myself and yourselves about something very small. You know, let's never ever tell a lie. One thing you said, whatever we say, and I'm not saying it because you've told a lie or because I have told a lie. It's just a reminder of the good word of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we go away. We made it so simple and we greeted the, the, the brother or the sister. We made them feel like Muslims. And tomorrow what will happen? By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will feel the link. They will feel an identity. They will identify themselves as Muslims. Whereas, as I said moments ago, the minute we draw such a big line and we say, no, these people are out of the fold. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. We will actually chisel deeper and we minimize the chances of bringing them onto what is right. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us steadfastness and goodness.